Cleaning off. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn is fully cooperating with the probe into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. This is after Flynn admitted to lying to the FBI and speaking to a Russian ambassador about sanctions. Flynn was named National Security Advisor by then President elect Donald Trump in November of last year. On December 28th, President Obama announced measures meant to punish Russia for its interference in the 2016 election. The next day, Flynn called the Russian ambassador and, according to charging documents, made a request to refrain from escalating tensions in response to those sanctions. On January 24th, Flynn denied having inappropriate conversations with the ambassador during an interview with the FBI. Three weeks later, Flynn resigned from his post. The day after, in a conversation with then-FBI Director James Comey, President Trump asked him to, quote, take it easy on Flynn. Today, Flynn pleaded guilty to one count of lying to the country's top law enforcement agency. According to court documents, a very senior member of the Trump transition team directed Flynn to contact Russian officials. That senior member is President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. WCCO's John Lordson has been following this and joins us now with the very latest. John. Kim, just this week, Flynn's legal team stopped cooperating with the White House about the investigation. He is now the fourth Trump campaign or administration official to be charged in Mueller's probe of Russian interference. Lock him up! Lock him up! Flynn was met by protesters as he left a Washington, D.C. courthouse on Friday. Documents filed by special counsel Robert Mueller state that Flynn did willfully and knowingly make materially false, fictitious, and fraudulent statements to FBI agents about his conversations with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak in December and January. Flynn's guilty plea means he's prepared to testify that he got the green light to talk with Kislyak from senior Trump transition officials. General Flynn is one more example of the extent of ties between senior officials involved in the Trump efforts and the Russians. There may be a broader uh, array of people uh, who may have been dishonest about the contacts with the Russians. Flynn was forced out of the Trump administration in February for misleading Vice President Mike Pence about those conversations. And the White House has distanced itself from Flynn since then. White House attorney Ty Cobb issued a statement saying the false statements involve mere the false statements to White House officials, which resulted in his resignation in February of this year. Nothing about the guilty plea or the charge implicates anyone other than Mr. Flynn. So far, all of the charges and guilty pleas haven't been about colluding with the Russians. Flynn was released without bail. He faces prison time and a $250,000 fine. In a statement, he accepted full responsibility for his actions and said he's working to set things right. Kim? All right, John, thank you. Three other Trump campaign or administration officials are under fire for their involvement with Russia. Prosecutors have also charged the president's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, and his deputy, Rick Gates. They also charge campaign advisor, George Papadopoulos. Stay with WCCO as we continue to learn more about the election investigation.